Thank you for that, Amanda. Now, these pink granules are the latest food fashion accessory. Stateside gourmets are popping pills made from what has been dubbed the Miracle Berry, which turns sour food sweet. They've just hit our shores, and Chaz Barr, who imports them to the UK, is here to tell us all about them. So, welcome, Chaz. Thank you. Now, I mean, obviously, first of all, what is this made of? Is it, is it a berry? Is it a fruit? Is it? I mean, what, what it's a chemical it? substance. <laughs> it, this is the freeze-dried flesh of the miracle fruit berry, or miracle berry, uh, known as Sinsipalum dulcificum. It or originated in West Africa and now has spread across the equator. Anywhere that's hot and humid, you can grow this. And uh, for years, hundreds of years, in fact, has been renowned for having its amazing taste-altering qualities. And where, where was it renowned? You know, what sort of cultures were using this? Well, it originated in Ghana. Yeah. And a, 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 a a discoverer called De Marche discovered it in 1723, I think it was, and he noted that the native tribes had a very bland porridge diet, lentils, porridge, and nothing much to it, but they would eat these berries on these trees before tucking in, and it's just these berries made it taste much, much better. Wow. Transform the flavour? I mean, from, from, from sour to sweet, it's, it's quite a thing, you know, you're going to mm. taste buds there, aren't you? In theory, yes. Uh, well, we'll see whether it goes this way. Perhaps we better put it to the test. And yes, uh, well, if you take a hefty pinch, a hefty pinch, pinch and right, stick it okay. in, in, the, in the sort of centre of your tongue and swirl it around your mouth. Open up your nose like snuff. Well, quite bitter. Now, what's happening is there's an active glycoprotein in this, which is bonding onto some of the taste receptors on your tongue. Now, this actually physiologically changes the way you taste. It's not like having a chilli, where everything afterwards tastes a bit funny because you've had a hot taste. This actually stops you tasting some, certain bitter and sour flavours. Mm. I mean, the famous thing which we should try, which we should maybe start off with, is the lemon. Yeah. Now, this should, should still taste of lemon, mm. but all of that horrific sourness should have been transformed. Not wrong there. Oh. It's certainly not sour. Well, it's lovely, isn't it? Ooh. Into a very sort of sweet, a sweet lemon, mm. eh? I could get into that. Yeah, but it builds over the next 10, 15 minutes. If we oh, go back, really? to, if we go back to that lemon, <laughs> it'll be sweeter than pineapple. It really just does build. It lasts maybe about half an hour. It can last up to two hours. Is it bad, bad for you? Okay, yeah. It's not bad for you in any way that I know of. Everybody yeah. uh, no, no one's died yet. No one's died yet. And now, I mean, this is obviously this. We're tasting this, and it, you know, it's all seems a bit of fun. But actually. If it does work in the country, there, there are uses that are, are serious uses. Diabetics, yes. for example. Yes, diabetics and dieters are the obvious uses. Um, there's also a very uh, important use that's emerged since I started selling it, and that is certain types of chemotherapy kill off um, people's yeah, sense of taste and desire to taste. Yeah. And, and, and whilst this doesn't give you the wonderful taste experience, it does apparently. From what I've been told, it just, rege it just makes you able to sit down and eat again. Now, can you, tell winter can again. you cook with it? <laughs> And what the, it, the, the miraculin protein gets killed by heat, okay, so, so you can't act. You can bake a cake with it, but you can sort of say sprinkle it on top of a lemon um, sorbet, something like that. Because the, actually, the first taste of this, when it mixed, it it, it did seem a bit artificial. Mm. But actually, now it feels like I've got sugar all over my tongue, basically. Yeah, this is freaking me out. And, uh, should we, <laughs> well, should we go to the vinegar next? Try that. Uh, vinegar. Yeah, vinegar. This yeah. is fish and chip vinegar. Oh no, I am more vinegar. Should we cider vinegar? At least that's good oh, for you. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah, it tastes like cheap sherry. It right, waxed sorry. down your nose as vinegar, but it's basically sweet, soft. You get the kick of vinegar as you do drink it up your nose, <laughs> but it just disappears across the tongue. To me, it tastes Pink like, like uh, cider vinegar with honey in it, mm. you know, which is mm. a very helpful thing. I, I mean, I taste to me it's like malt, it's drinking malt, malt vinegar. Malt let's vinegar. let's yeah. face it, Matthew, yeah. it's a pretty impossible task. Yes. Well, I, I, I think there are an awful lot of um, artificial sweeteners out there. Yeah, but this is, this yes. goes on a tree. <laughs> should, we, should we jump into this into the start? Mm. Yes. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't alter the taste this of this. This is something that we don't <laughs> want to alter. Tink it. Tink Tink what does it do to that? It doesn't really do it. What's it supposed to do with stouts? It just it makes it more sort of malty, chocolatey. It makes it taste. It like does do that, I must say. But it tastes like that Guinness uh, used to taste when it came out at the room temperature. Mm, slightly alcoholic oh, brown lemonade. <laughs> well, that's absolutely bonkers. That, but it just feels as like my tongue has been coated in something. Mm. And I must just point, it does have that that sort of uh, s the, the artificial sweet yeah, taste uh, that you get at the back of cocoa, but obviously it's not at all artificial mm. at all, but... I quite like when it does. Yeah, it does too, there. But I can un I, I actually, I, mean, I can understand there are some very serious uses for, mm. the, for the properties of these things. Was, I think as a sort of uh, a dietary addition to the everyday store cupboard. Well, I'm sure that Paul will be having it in his, in his restaurant, we're changing the taste of his I puddings, don't but... Um, for me, it's nothing to do with restaurant thing. I, I see the benefits of this in, in almost like a medicine type of thing, things that you don't really yes, like to take. I mean, yeah. 
you know, yeah. something like, you know, my mother would drink cider vinegar with water in the morning. Now, I'm not great at taking that, but with the touch of that, I could easily have Ooh, it. See, I like that purgative sense of lemon first thing in the morning. Hot water lemon cleans me out. Anyway, Giles, well, thank you very, very much indeed. I think but every time we get something we don't like on market, it's a little pinch of that, and we will we'll be away. away. I think it may have transformed our lives for us. <laughs> it certainly transformed Tom's. It certainly works. Uh, she scoured the market for the best Iberian flavour she can find. Now Amanda's ready to put together her taste of Spain on a plate.